Hi guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. In this candle making tutorial today, I'm going to be making a Disney themed candle. So I'm making a Disney themed candle and in particular a Tangled themed candle. So I thought I'm going to do a candle plus some wax melts that will go with the movie because one of my friends is a massive fan of Tangled and it's her birthday coming up soon. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to make her her own custom themed candle that is inspired by the movie. Now for licensing and copyright issues, I am not making this to sell Disney, I'm just making a gift for a friend that is inspired by Tangle, and I have never actually seen Tangle before, so I had to go and watch it, do a bit of research on it, and there was two moments that were like in particular really inspired me. Um, one of them was the stars, because there's like stars or suns the whole way through the movie, it's a big theme of the movie, and there's a really pretty purple background with a star on it, like the banner um, entangled like of her family crest I guess it is, and you know she's always looking up to the stars, so that's going to be my candles theme. And then my wax melt theme, I could have done the exact same, but I got inspired by another part of the movie um, where you see her hair, she's in the forest and it's all plaited up and she's got flowers placed all through it and I thought that could be really cool for the wax melts. The first thing that I'm going to do is create my star embeds for my candle. Now I'm using some gold bio glitter. This is a not a plastic based glitter. This is a plant based glitter. So if you're going to use any glitter in your candle making, you just want to make sure that it's bio glitter. Now I'm just putting that all over the surface of my mold so that way when I do pour my wax into my mold, the glitter is going to get encased into the wax. Now I did start off with just using a standard soy pillar wax and I added in some gold wax dye and I will add the link to the type of wax dye that I use below. You can get it from my Amazon storefront. And then I just place that on to my mold. But you can see it already starts to set. It was a really cold day when I was filming this and soy wax and cold weather just do not work that well and I really struggled to create those stars. While my embeds are setting, it's time to start making the candle. I'm using an Eco Soy Wax today and 6% fragrance. The Eco Soy Wax is a great one for container candles and it says to pour around 60 degrees. So I've gotten it to 60 degrees and I'm just adding in my color and my fragrance. To color my wax, I'm using a dye block and I'm doing two different colors. I'm using the pink and the lilac. These come in a assortment set. So I think you get about 25 in a box, all different colors. They're really great for beginners if you're just getting into candle making because it gives you a really wide range of colors and I've mixed those two colors together because I wanted like a pinky sort of purpley color to match in with the theme of my candle. When I'm happy with my color, I'm just gonna be pouring that into my container. I've gotten a really cool gold container that I'll add the link below to where you can find one just like this. And I thought that would just add a little bit of extra specialness to this candle. I know extra specialness isn't technically a word, um, but just to make the candle a little bit more different and a little bit more special. So then I'm just adding in my wick clip just to hold it into place while my candle does set. Now the first lot of stars I made completely broke I used a soy pillar wax, but because it is so cold at the moment, I think it was like 15 degrees in my room, all of my soy wax just kept crumbling and breaking. So I decided for the next lot, I was going to switch to paraffin. Paraffin wax is a lot more sturdier and it doesn't have the same issues that a soy pillar wax has. So this time around, I was successful in my candles and I also used a little pepper to pipe it out. So that way it was a lot easier to get into the corner corners of my stars. Because I want my candle to look like a starry night sky, I'm going to be using a liquid candle dye and adding that to the top of my wax. Now I've waited for my wax to set up a little bit. If you add this in too soon, you'll find it will just drop to the bottom of your candle. So you do need your candles to start to set a little bit so the wax is a bit thicker. And then I'm just adding that in the top and swirling that around. 
When my stars had set, I just demolded them and you can see that they came out so much more easier and a lot more cleaner this time. I didn't have any breakages like I did with my soy wax. Now, because I did have to redo my stars again, my candle had fully set by the time I had done that. So I just had to reheat the top of the candle up. So that way my stars, my embeds would attach to the candle. I'm adding a little bit of purple bio glitter as well, just to add a little bit more sparkle to my night sky. And then I just place all my stars on to the top of my candle. I really love this and I think it was such a cool effect and think it looks exactly like the movie. But I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Also too, if my stars had turned out the first time, I would have added them in as the candle was setting and not have to reheat up the surface because you have to be very careful when you do a swirl to not overdo it because when I do reheat up the surface, you can end up losing some of that swirl. For my wax melts, I was inspired by a hair with all of the flowers braided on through it, but I don't have any flower molds that would suit, so I decided to do a different technique. So I'm using some leftover soy wax and I'm pouring it into a silicone mold that I had on hand. Now, if you don't have silicone molds, you can always just use a tray with baking paper. I'm just pouring that in and I'm doing a few different colors, just adjusting it to match. And I've got some cookie cutters that are in a flower shape. And then as my wax is not fully set, but it has set enough, I'm gonna start cutting that out and using my cookie cutter to create some cute little flower embeds. If your wax has fully set, you'll find it really hard to cut these out and they'll probably crumble. So you do need to do it when your wax is still warm. With your wax tart melts, because you don't use a wick in it, you don't have to worry about wick clogging. So you can go a bit stronger with your fragrance and a bit stronger on your coloring. So I have done the same golden dye in some soy pillar wax. I've poured that into my clamshell and now I'm just adding some bio glitter onto the top. Then I'm also gonna be placing down my little flower cutouts. I'm just gonna be doing three going down the center. And then I also had some beeswax wraps in green and I just cut out some little leaves to go with them. I feel like this one is a little bit more niche for someone that really loves the movie to get the reference, but I think they have turned out super cute. I super enjoyed making this candle. It really let my creativity just like run wild. I want to know what your thoughts are. Do you think that this candle and the wax melt match the theme of the movie? I am always open to your suggestions. Is there anything else you think I could have done that was a little bit better? And do you like this? Would you like this to be um, come a series on my channel where I make themed candles. I could do a whole series on Disney theme, one a month, or it could be like on any sort of, I guess, pop culture reference, like Harry Potter. Um, I really enjoyed this. It was so much fun to just really like get creative. So if you want to see more of this video, me picking different themes, um, then let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this one if you think I've nailed the Tangle theme. Um, and let me know what else you would like to see. If there is a certain Disney princess or a different sort of pop culture reference, always let me know in the comment box. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing as I post new arts videos every single week. And I particularly love candle making. And thank you guys so much for watching.